ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play of Storyteller. Today we're going to go through the Secret Tamp Collection. So in order to do that, we have to go through chapters. So let's go to settings first to make it a little bit quicker. To go through the first page. At See? Life and death. Okay, I need to figure out which one. Let's see. Broken hearts. Spouses reject each other. Everyone rejects Edgar. Rejected by own spouse. A heartbreak is he. Okay, it's not this one. Apparition. The cellar. Lenora drinks poison. Haunted for murder. Alright, this is the one. So, this, um, this first thing we need to do is the Romeo and Juliet. So, what you do is have Edgar and Ellen, not Eleanor, I keep saying it, Lenora, to have a wedding. And we're going to have Lenora passed away. And then... He drinks the poison just to join her. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, he was revived, but then realized that he's gone, and then he joins. Romeo and Juliet. All right, let's see. So that's Romeo and Juliet. Let's see. Isabel is haunted by her husband. Mm-hmm. I... Yeah. Okay, so... The next... manor. The manor? Not this one. Secrets. Justice. Genesis. The King. Alright, hold on. Turns out it has to be Chapter 4, Part 4. I have to look up the walkthrough just to figure this out. Alright. So it's empty. Murder of Jealousy. I don't know if that's it, but... Let's see, um... Let's try this. So what happened was... They get married. Um... He rejects him because she's already married to Isabel, and that's where he did this. Whatever. So what's next? Let's see. The next thing is the macabre. Broken hearts. Spouses reject each other. Next thing that we need to do is the macabre. So Lenora has to marry Edgar. And then Edgar told Isabel that he was in love with Lenora. And that's where she did this. <laughs> Macabre. You have to have this girl laugh at Lenora's uh, demise. I don't know why. Probably because of jealousy. Next up is excessive, which of course has something to do with drinking. The Cellar. Murder of Jealousy. We go back to Murder of Jealousy. And what you need to do is you need to have Edgar marry Isabel. And instead and have Lenora find out about it. Instead of having her try to poison Isabel, she ends up drinking. Excesses. Alright, so that's. 
Let's see how many stamps so far. Okay, so that's four. Okay, number five. Apparition. Oh, heartbroken dog. Dies. That may be the case, but we're going to do it in a different way. He gets older. Then time flies. Then he gets revived. And then the dog gets old and he's young. Age difference. This is this is um, number five age difference. So at number six. Oh wait, you have to get to eight. Heartbroken dog dies happy. So this one right here is a weird one, but it's quite obvious. Assistance. If you can, if you could see the end of it, there's a bit of a crack in something like a sandcastle, which I didn't notice it. Um, yeah. So that. I forgot which number of stamp it is already. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's stamp number six. Apparitions. So number seven, we're gonna go to chapter five. Beauty. Tiny gets a kiss. Tiny will not get a kiss for this stamp collection because I'm going to do it like this. And then do this. So the witch was planning to kiss the prince, but he's like ill. So as punishment. Then they met each other as frogs, and then this happened. The Trachean Affair. That's number seven, I believe. I got these numbers mixed up. Of how many stamps do I have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yes, that's number seven. Beauty. All right, number eight. We go here. Heartbroken frog. We're not going to do the heartbroken frog again. Instead, I'm going to do this. So she disguised herself as a beautiful maiden. At stamp number eight. However, um, let's see. Stamp number uh, nine. It's going to be something a little bit tragic and different. So the witch drinks the potion to be beautiful, and they fall in love. However, this guy right here is putting something in the potion, and instead of turning back into an old lady turns into a frog. And then this guy here is going to start trouble with the boat. And of course, this happened. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> That's step number nine. Alright, so let's go to chapter seven, which is going to be part one. The Crown Intrigue. Alright, let's check this out. Four deaths. Four deaths indeed. So, what we need to do here is we have him as a ghost, then we go to the cliff and have them battle it out. Fright battle. Mm-hmm. Fright battle. Okay, so let's... Let's go to uh, justice. 
I'm going to chapter 9, part 4. Queen beheads all men. So the queen has to be, um... Oh, I forgot. I forgot that the prince... Not the prince. The knight has to take the throne. And something weird happened. Not weird, but, you, you know. Unlikely match. Unlikely match is another stamp. I forgot which number of stamps we have, but let's check this out. I forgot the fear one. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 12, we need to get a fear. Justice. I'm taking a look. Let's see here. Okay. Alright, so we need to go to chapter 8. Secrets. And we're gonna go here. Duke shoots his wife. We're not gonna do that again. Instead, we're gonna have the butler do this, and the Duchess will be the witness. Oh wait, it goes like this. Alright. So ballroom first with the butler and the duchess. He takes the peak of uh, of the painting. Then he got the weapon. Then she saw the butler holding something. But he puts it back. And at this moment forward, this happens. Yeah. We end up getting fear, which is the twelfth stamp, I believe. Next up, we're going to go to 14. We're going to go to 14, which is the last chapter. Once drama. Novels. Chapter 14 is called the final chapter. Night imprisons queen. So what we need to do here is we need to have what we need to do is to have the knight rescue the queen from the wicked one of course as she told however she passed away then there's another demise here, but there is going to be a haunted wedding. Afterlife love. So we get this. Now we need to go to chapter eleven. Monsters. The king. We're gonna go to chapter 11, part 5. Baron rules alone. I don't know. We're gonna move this here. And he is going to kidnap the queen. <laughs> but the maid saved her. You may think this is an unlikely match again. No, instead. Matriarchy. Alright, so next up we're going back to chapter 14, but this time part 4. Novels. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. So, instead of the king being kidnapped, it's the maid. <laughs> However, the king 
saved her. And then the king kidnaps his wife, which he will be his ex-wife, I believe. That's what you get for just for kidnapping my love. However, the knife is going to save her. And instead of dying, the king will witness the affair. That's how the queen fell in love. But the king is one. Round secrets. Go back here. And we're going to go to chapter 7. Because remember where the Baron has to get married to the queen in order to get the crown? Well, there's another way around that. Crown Intrigue. So we go to part five. The Queen Marries. So what we do here, he rejects the proposal, even though it's not what, you know. But he is going to kidnap the Queen as himself, <laughs> but instead he's going to disguise himself as a dragon. And yes, it's weird. Dragon King. Alrighty then. Let's go to chapter 10. Genesis. And this one is going to be gluttony. I, I forgot, I missed track of how many stamps do I have, but... Adam watches his love die. We're not going to be doing that. Instead, instead, we're going to be doing this the other way around. They continuously eat the apple. Until their stomachs started to, you know... Gluttony. One of the seven deadly sins. Friedrich takes revenge. And instead of shooting at the judgment, he shoots at this. William Tell. So let's go to part three of the story. Adam watches his love die. And it goes like this. They both get destroyed. And this is what happened. Evil triumphs. And then, and then we stay right here and use this picture or this scene to do this. Dust to dust. Now we gotta go to chapter 12. The Monsters. And we go to this one. Bernard drinks poison. Now this one right here is a little bit different because there have to be three scenes towards the moon and Bernard doing this. Faces. Okay. We go to the dragon, part three. Queen gets Baron arrested. And what? And instead of the queen, we have a detective. Puts the outfit back. And he went... No, no, no. Not the ballroom. He 
goes back to he goes back to disguise and discovers the Baron's fingerprints. He puts it back on, and then he starts to notice who he is. Logical explanation. Yep, it's a logical explanation, all right. Then we go to empires. Lord of <laughs> vampirism. And what we do here is we have John to get bitten. Then Minas discovers the situation. And that's where Usually I put Mina as part of her being hit, but we're going to do a reversal. And the professor told her to stick Dracula in the heart, but instead, instead, you know. And then this happened. Hard on the outside. You make the professor cry. That is sad. Alright, so. Next up. We need to go back to chapter 5, which will take longer than we expected. Beauty! Tiny gets a kiss! Okay, so what we do is remove this scene and use the, the magic mirror to have Tiny be the face. Low bar. Low bar. How terrible. Alright, let's go to chapter 13. The minute. Drama. And it's going to be part 4. Haiti is murdered by his daughter. I'm going to do it like this. And it's going to be like a family situation. This. I'm going to have her said this. No, we're going to have her like witnessing of what's happening. where it gets confusing. So I need to figure out how to do this. Um, I don't know how I did it. But what I did is like, I think it, the solution to this to get the stay of this site. Like this. Family bonds. Family bonds. Okay, let's go to chapter 14. Novels. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. Alright. This one right here, I think we're supposed to have the knight notice something. King betraying the queen and kidnaps him. But the twist is is that the maid saves him and she pushes the knight off the cliff. Backstabber. Okay, now we need to figure out the other things, so let's go to chapter one, I believe. At life, Adam starts alone, 
finds love, devil makes everyone miserable. What we do here is that we're going to have we're going to have Eve. <laughs> Spookier. Mm-hmm. Spookier indeed. Let's check out the stamps so far. Looks good. Secret epilogue. The ceremony. Novels. Okay, so we go here. I Prisons, Queen. So what you do is that similar to this, you leave these two here, but have this guy here. There. Frustration. His plan did not work out in his favor. All right. So let's go to chapter ten. Genesis! Adam watches his love die. Okay, so what happened was just we're leaving this two and this one, but you have to have one person, like right here. And he gets revived. The, the reversal will be more like... Like uh, uh, Eve doing this. Or maybe not. Maybe not. So E will do this because she's been deceived by an, an identical version of Adam. But then she gets revived and then this happens. Original fight. Original fight indeed. However, if it haven't been the other way around, let me show you. It'll be more like this. Then, Adam would be the one to get electrocuted. He would have be been revived, and this happened. Yeah, it would have been like that, but I decided to choose what the walkthrough says. Because I have to remember certain things. Alright, next up is chapter 4, so in order to do so, I have to do like this. The Cellar Haunted for Murder I'm going to do it like this way. Another step that involves Ghostbusters. So, let's do it. And then, she drinks the poison. And then this happens. Ghostbuster! Oh, we're not done yet. There's still more stamps. Broken hearts. Rejected my own spouse. And the way to do that is by having <coughs> shocked wives. Yes. Are you probably wondering, is that all the stamps that we needed? Well, let's find out. Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen. I have reached to 100%, so yeah, that's all the stamps that I I Broken secret stamp collection. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31 stamps that I collected so far. And that is the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! I am super, super happy that I played this. This is probably one of my favorite puzzle games that I ever played. And I couldn't help but enjoy it more and more. 
I hope there will be more games like this in the future. Not a whole lot, but just like, if there's a chance that there is a sequel, but it involves like creativity, creative freedom, which like, there has to be like a free mode where you can create your own story, but it has to make sense or make it a bit reasonable or interesting. Otherwise, it's just, you know, without any too much restrictions any further. So I'm very happy that I actually played this in the demo version of it, but also played this uh, full one. So I want to thank you all for joining me for this Let's Play. I will be back for more Let's Plays, especially the Nancy Drew ones, and many, many more. So, if you enjoyed this video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on these notifications. So you won't miss a single upload, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I'll probably return to Fiction Pictures, and probably the Nancy Drew games very soon. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to others, and have a blessed, wonderful day.